Ezekiel 37, 27. I will make my dwelling place among them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. From Genesis to Revelation, God's goal was to dwell with his people. He became vulnerable by sending his only son to be closer to us. And even after we crucify him, he sends his Holy Spirit to dwell with us. Oh, Holy Spirit. The very thought of you is overwhelming. Your presence is overpowering and your nature consuming. I am constantly surprised by your unrelenting passion. One of the three persons of God, without you I'll never be holy, without you I'll never see the Father. Oh, the Father. Like the breaker of waves crashing, I felt the rushing of a story unfolding like never before. The pages of a book waiting to be written and prophecies coming alive to who he really is. My head pounding like an avalanche, busting and unchased in glory unwinding as time turned from master to friend. And then I began to see my purpose come from the conductor of space himself. He showed me heavenly palaces and all of a sudden I could see every detail in the feathers of angelic creatures and none could compare. Even the libraries of kings couldn't behold the wonder that I was strapped in. And now my buddy is reignited to his love and magnetized to his constant pursuit of me. It is so overwhelming and I love it. People, I pray this day that each and every one of us will experience the overwhelming presence of God that will feel the embrace of his love and yield to his will to dwell with us and in us on this earth and beyond. Amen.